Hi guys and welcome to Taylor Talk. <coughs> so this is a video on why I don't cover Anne Boleyn Reed. As you well know guys, I've done videos on Foodie, I've done a hundred videos on Salah, I plan to do videos on Tammy Lemon, I plan to do videos on the Slayton Sisters, I plan to do videos on Nick Cardo, Avocado, when he and All In, you know, really get into their weight loss journey. But I haven't covered the megastar, the original superstar, the Marilyn Monroe of Girl World. I haven't covered Amberlyn Reed. I don't plan to, and I'll just explain why. So, guys, remember when Becky and Amber made that live stream called There's Something We Have to Tell You, and they announced their breakup? Do you remember... When they were when Becky announced they were breaking up, Becky said this. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just say it. Um, we have broke up. It happened Sunday. And it was initiated by me. But the, th the fact of the matter is, is I've had a lot of time to think and reflect and we just want different things in life. You know, Amberlynn wants to leave Kentucky one day and she wants to see her family and she wants to move to another state and it's like, this is my home and this is where my family is and I don't want to leave. So, Becky said that over a year ago, and they split up, and went their separate ways. And so you may ask, where is Anne Boleyn living now? Her beloved Seattle? Los Angeles? New York? Paris? No, she's still living in Kentucky, in the same old apartment <coughs> that she lived in with Becky, because she's housebound. Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember when Amber said this about her and Becky's relationship? What I desire. What do you miss most about being with Becky? Uh, nothing. I am like so She's proud doing of her myself. Exercises and everything. I am like so beyond proud of myself. I just can't even put it into words. It's because I have like the su like support like i have someone who's like this isn't shade against becky but i like have someone in my corner that's like a different type of like motivation talking to this girl has just made me realize like that's how you're supposed to feel when um you like someone a lot so yeah, I didn't feel that with Becky, and me and Becky have talked a lot about it recently, and we realized that we never had that. So, I really think that Amber revealed her true colours during this breakup. Amber is very much like Foodie Beauty. You know, when she needs you, she's throwing you money, she can be manipulative and sweet and, and as sweet as pie when she needs you, but the second Becky calls it quits, she became very bitter and absolutely refused to have any type of empathy for what Becky was going through. Now, I think in the past, Amber has always had a bit of a humiliation kink when it comes to Becky. She's, she's been on camera making fun of her taste of music, her style, her words, her weight, the way that she looks. Of course, who can forget the fanny pack incident? <coughs> and just telling her, you know, what she can and can't wear. Okay, but when they broke up, but they were together at the time. So she, Amber could always laugh it off and say, you know, I said this, but I'm with her. I said this, but I love her. I said this for the cameras, but you know, you, you know, Becky, you don't, you all, you all don't know what it's like um, behind the scenes. She could always say that. <coughs> but when they broke up, 
Amber went out of her way to, to guilt trip Becky into feeling like shit. I really think she felt like if she guilt tripped Becky enough, Becky would cave in and take her back. The same way that if Amberlynn whines enough about wanting fast food, you know, Becky will give in and and go out to a McDonald's or go out to a Chili's or, and get her something. And she really thought she could pressure Becky into taking her back so that everything could go back to normal for her. And she didn't. <coughs> um, after Becky left, Amber would verbally lash out at Becky on social media say that she wasn't supportive enough, blame her for the lack of help regarding Amber's cancer. Um, Amber has constantly called Becky out on not supporting her and being the best supportive partner that she could be. And I think the reason Amber's done that is because one, Becky won't fight back. She's very passive. She won't fight back and start World War Three on social media. And number two, <laughs> um, it kills Amber it shakes her to her core that Becky broke up with her first. Amber has always considered Becky as lesser than, as a quirky loser, as this chubby but homely emo chick um, that should be lucky to have somebody as beautiful and as riveting and as dainty as Princess Amber Lynn. So when Becky finally broke the cycle and dumped her, Amber couldn't believe that somebody like Becky, somebody that's overweight, somebody that's uncool, somebody that she views as pathetic, somebody that she doesn't, that she views as unattractive. She doesn't believe that somebody, she was so shocked that somebody that looks like Becky and somebody that acts like Becky would dump her. And that made her furious. With somebody as shallow as Amber, I think that Amber was more inconsolable with rage um, than with tears. Like her tears were really just tears of hopelessness and anger. So because Becky isn't there physically anymore, Amberlynn plays this, this very sneaky, passive aggressive game where she lashes out on social media <coughs> because in Amber's mind, it's Groundhog Day and she's constantly trying to punish Becky for dumping her. Um, when Bucky Becky dumped her, she made Amberlynn appear to society, appear rejected and unwanted. And she's constantly trying to punish Becky for dumping her in front of the world and turning Amber's and turning her own world upside down. So now I've covered how I feel about the Becky situation. Let's move on to Amberlynn's current SO. So we'll we'll now talk about Far From Jaded, aka Alex, aka Wifey, who is now aka Feline. But we still call her Wifey. So first of all, first of all, I will always be forever shocked that Amber just lets random women that she's met online jump into her life and into her house out of nowhere. Becky, wifey, they could have been serial killers, they could have been child traffickers, they could have been um, a part of a rebel motorcycle, motorcycle club, they could have been anybody. So I just really, pr really pray, you know, that she never meets the wrong woman who tries to hurt her or tries to steal from her or both. <coughs> because, you know, people are crazy and Amber just invites random women into her house just to see if they have chemistry or not. And it's one of the craziest things that I've ever heard or seen. Remember from the early eclipse, guys, that Amber was saying how wifey was such a supportive, beautiful, inspiring force of nature, and Amber hadn't experienced anything like it, and she was really losing weight this time, guys. Remember when she said that in the earlier clip? Now, let's cut to three weeks ago, shall we?
I'll show you the clip right here. Everyone thinks I'm over 600 pounds, so. What is it? <laughs> is it bad? I'm gonna say 535. 528.5. Oh! As you can kind of see, I was like kind of shocked. Um, Feline was the one filming and she clicked off too soon, but like I was literally so shocked. But I'm actually glad that I have this clip because you guys can see for yourself that I'm not 600 pounds. I know a lot of people think that my weigh-ins are fake and that just goes to show that they're not. What I just heard there, guys, is that since Becky dumped her and Wifey took over, she's been steadily gaining weight. I think Amber is slowly but surely going back up to 600 pounds. Now, she says that her highest was 571, but I don't believe her. I've never believed her. I've always thought that she was 600 pounds and slowly working her way back down from 600 pounds. Now, I thought that with Wifey's support, she was going to be the new Leslie Sansom of YouTube, going to be the next uh, choreographing um breakdancing sensation and doing all her vlogs outside but no amber is steadily gaining weight even though they have their faults it's not amber's parents fault it's not destiny's fault but she'd never blame it on destiny anyway it was never poor Peggy's fault <coughs> And this has nothing to do with gold digging wifey. Amber's weight gain is all on Amber. And one of the many, re a few of the reasons that I don't cover her is because number one, Amber Lynn doesn't take accountability for anything that she says or does. Number two, she gets a sick pleasure out of being horrible, um, be bullying people. And she gets pleasure out of being vindictive to people. And number three is that I don't think that as a person, um, she she never evolves. She's only she's just she just regresses. That's my main problem with Amber. <coughs> Amber's daily life starts with waking up, you know, getting you know ordering in breakfast, getting washed by wifey, getting wiped by wifey, getting driven around by wifey, going to the shops with wifey driving to the hospital with wifey getting checkups with wifey going home with wifey cooking with wifey building legos with wifey and showing wifey her coloring books and her scratch art now that day in the life sounds like the life of one of simon cowell's toddlers it doesn't sound like the life of a 30 year old woman <laughs> Lastly, there's something really unnerving about Wifey and Amber's relationship, mainly because it's so fake and so surface level. <coughs> but I need to bring up that, in my opinion, there's something deeply unsettling about Wifey, a normal, grounded person you know, a normal everyday adult, male, female or other, doesn't just pack up, leave her friends and family and a productive social life in New York to move to Kentucky, of all places, to play nursemaid to a spoiled brat who's emotionally abusive, 500 pound toddler with abandonment issues. Now, as screwed up as Anne Boleyn is, Wifey is even more fucked up because she looked at this morbidly obese, deeply troubled, mentally ill woman and saw a gold mine. And she, Wifey is determined to milk Amber's udders for everything she's got, for all she's worth. And to me, that's that's sick. That's disgraceful and that's super sadistic, in my honest opinion. So, yes, I'm super suspicious of wifey and yeah she she can't be trusted in my honest opinion so guys that's the end of the video let me if you have any opinions um feel free to let me know in the comments thanks for listening have a great day